anyone that shows you online that they look good when they wake up from heatless curls, let this just be your sign that you do not wake up like that at all. We've done heatless curls last night, so we thought we could take them out quickly before... Oh, where's my hairband? Before we test some new makeup, I've done a another massive like sephora haul look fantastic cult beauty oh my god this is intact i just thought we can test some new makeup little full face first impressions again oh my god i actually done my front bits and rolled them up the front they're probably all messy now with like a hot brush just so they go more like wispy compared to curly i know the whole point of um heatless curls is that they're heatless well sue me <laughs> i literally have to keep checking my camera to make sure it's recording in normal because as i said in a vlog recently a load of footage filmed in slow-mo and it traumatized me also i've got a matcha on the go this is probably the palest matcha i've ever had in my life does it even look green to you probably not i use like a matcha sachet and it's nice like it's sweet i didn't have to add anything to it but milk but it just tastes like sweet milk like i'm not getting vanilla matchiness i've actually ordered the matcha that blank street have i've never tried blank street but everyone makes me crave it like i honestly wish i lived in london or manchester wherever they are just for a blueberry matcha because i need that i also ordered their blueberry syrup that they use it's this blueberry muffin one blueberry muffin wine on amazon so i'm gonna make blueberry matcha i'm so beyond excited can you see how far back on my head that is that's because if you do it too close here and you sleep it's uncomfortable whereas if you do it here first of all it's gonna curl the hair at the back as well like the back of your head and look flat 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 so i mean there's a little bit here if you do it where i've done but if you do it a little bit further back then it's completely flat but i honestly slept so fine my hair is so curly now i've got this box of makeup i kind of picked stuff out of my recent haul that i would like to try and test out first of all pop on this little headband this is from i'm not sure look fantastic did actually send me this i've never had one of these headbands but i've always wanted one. um absolutely there we go okay this is kind of cute i know there was one that went viral ages ago that like smelled like marshmallows i've currently been breaking out a lot so i only used the most simplest skin prep which is the nivea soft nivea soft that's it this doesn't make my skin as glowy as i used to do it which is so annoying but i know this doesn't mess with any makeup because it's literally so just plain and then for a bit of instant tan if you are spot prone and you find every fake tan breaks you out i do find the be bold one doesn't but it's just you have to build that up and like i want instant tan right now and because i'm using a lot of skincare i just put like instant tan drops on so these are the be a bell instant tan drops for the face this is the best face tan i've ever found it matches fake tan perfectly so i've got two color correctors here so this is the new nyx pro fix stick which is a stick one which i've never used anything like this before and then i've got the elf camouflage one which is orange for the under eye so i think i'm gonna do this on my under eye here and then this on my spots i do also have the nyx in like a paler shade which i'm gonna cover my spots with let's start off with the eye i got a load of new pd brushes as well sent in pr so i think we can use some of those a little dot like that can you see that to kind of fluff that under there okay a lot goes a long way so that was like the perfect amount maybe i should do this on both sides just because i'm using two new concealers and i feel like it's only fair do you think okay we'll do both sides i can see a bit more of the purple on this side just because the amount i've applied and there we go so that's my under eyes looking very scary so i guess we won't see until i put concealer there i'm not going to put this directly on my face but i just feel like that won't work the best i'm not doing it for hygiene reasons because i'm going to keep dipping back and forth so it doesn't really matter i've never really color corrected before oh that is pigmented whoopsie so i guess i just pop a little bit of this on each spot and mark because mine are mainly marks 
Okay, this you really don't need a lot of, so I use way too much. This little buffing one, and just kind of blends the edge. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Vanilla, and I'm just gonna tap it over all those that I've done here. I do have a feeling this is all gonna mix green, because it kind of is mixing slightly green. But yeah, that's definitely all gone very green. I'm just going to tap over this with my Coca Cosmetic sponge. The thing I do like about this concealer, when I'm tapping over with my sponge, it doesn't seem to be moving, which is nice because normally I find they do. Let's go in with foundation. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the dewy one. I got golden beige. I do definitely think this is going to be a bit light for me, but that's what bronzer and stuff's for. This is the applicator. And just, I guess, paint it on. Feels a bit wrong. Yeah, that's a bit pale. That looks scary. I never really hear anyone speak about this foundation. I remember it was like a big thing a few years back, but I saw a girl on TikTok recently use it and I thought, wow, that looks beautiful on you. But then again, she does have beautiful skin. The colour's not looking too bad, to be fair. I think it probably helps that I have tan stuff underneath because I think that is kind of mixing with it and making it tad bit darker. It does have a glow, which is nice. It looks great, to be honest. Nothing seems to be clinging, not patchy. That concealer has covered the spots pretty well. Funny enough, from the last full face get ready with me, I used the Made by Mitchell Curve Case. I've still been using this. This is actually the medium color because I was using the light. I love the light, but I saw someone use the medium the other day and I really liked it, so I used it the other day. I love the combo of that. That looks so nice. I definitely am going to pick up that foundation. Foundation, And I do like that colour because sometimes I find my foundation colours too dark because I just match online and it's never right. Absolute 10 out of 10. I love this. Let's do concealer then blush. I kind of mix between doing them both. Right, so we've got two concealers here. We've got the e.l.f. camo, which looks really gross in the bottle. Can you see that? What the hell? This is in... Fair Beige. Then I recently got another NYX one. This is the Bear With Me. I think this is in Vanilla. It doesn't seem to say, but I think this was Vanilla. Starting off with the Elf. I'm just going to give that a little mix if I can. So we're going to do a little bit like that, and then I'm going to blend. I'm going to sneeze, actually. This is a little Sephora sponge. Yo, thank you. And just blend that in. We may need more, obviously, to colour cover the colour correct, but we're not sure yet. It's our first time using her. Okay, let's have a little close up of that. Okay, you can one hundred percent still see the orange under my eye. Does this sound weird? But I kind of like that. That blended together has made it kind of like peachy under there so it still looks like my under eyes but like still brighter because i can definitely still see some purple definitely think if you didn't do the color corrector that would be nicer and i didn't put on as much as like some people would just popped a bit of the nyx this is a new sponge um maybe i should apply this with one of these just to be fair so I'm just going to scoop some on there and kind of just, not blend it with it, but just kind of stamp it on there. And with the other sponge, we're just going to Okay. Yeah. I feel like that has literally just blended with the colour corrector. don't know how much you'll be able to tell. That is definitely a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be, like, in coverage. So, let's look at the finishes. This is strangely drying matte. Well, not matte, but, like, matter, because it is, like, hydrating. Doesn't, this e.l.f. one does not feel dry under the eye, but it's definitely not as shiny as the NYX one is looking currently. But I like the look of both. I mean... It's hard because both have like a peachy undertone because of the colour corrector. For blusher, we actually have three. 
to e.l.f. and a rare beauty. I would like to use the e.l.f. and rare elf and rare beauty because people are saying these are dupes for each other i'm gonna swatch all three so starting off with the rare beauty i love rare beauty's packaging this is in bliss i know the shade happy is really popular however i like quite a pale blush so i saw this looked quite pale wow that feels very like doesn't have a smell serum -y. so that is rare beauty bliss that looks like my made by mitchell bella blossom which i'm so excited about because that's discontinued and i love that this is now elf in dusty rose yeah that's really liquidy wow i'm surprised by both formulas i thought they were kind of going to be like moussey so this is dusty rose this one here i like the look of both to be honest they're very similar i think the colors of them like the undertone everything about them is the same just this one's deeper this is peach perfect elf has so many shades but of course elf is more affordable but i feel like both are going to last you a long time oh that's pretty okay so none of them are an exact dupe for the color they may have other colors that are similar so that one on the end is the peach perfect i love all of it actually that's quite similar to let's get bella blossom out Oh, now looking at it, Bella Blossom's quite different to all of them. Hmm, I didn't think Bella Blossom was that light. Okay, this is one thing I've loved from the last video, my Refi brush. This is my second one, actually, because I wanted two. I think their brushes are absolutely amazing. Rare Beauty first, I think. Or should we do Rare Beauty and Elf and Elf? So, I know you're not meant to use a lot of this, but I'm going to just... Pop some onto the hand, just because that's what I'd always do. May need more than this, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that done absolutely nothing for me. Hmm. I can't seem to see it. <laughs> I can't seem to see it much. Oh no, she's there. She's there, it's just very pale. But that's what I like. I like more of like a muted, I'm just slightly peachy. I don't know if I like the finish of it. It's just quite matte again, which I don't like. We're gonna go in with a dot this time. Yeah, it's definitely there, but it's because it's light, but I like that. Hopefully you can see that. You probably can't on camera, but yeah, that's my type of tone that's like Bella Blossom when it's on. I'm not blown away by this Rare Beauty blush. It's nice, but I'm not blown away where I'm like, you need that. And then we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Just pop some on the back of my hand again. And I'm going to use the same brush, but there's literally no product left on it. This one has glow. Why is this side glowing more? Everything's the same on this side except the concealer, but the concealer's not all the way back here. The e.l.f. seems to have more glow. I do like the look of this Rare Beauty one, but the e.l.f. I like e.l.f. E.l.f. wins. E.l.f. wins. Rare Beauty's Q is definitely matte. It's like really matte now. Like as if I was to touch my face and it wouldn't come off. Whereas the e.l.f. cute. On the face, these colours look basically identical which i guess is nice but if you are going to get any get the elf honestly get the elf elf have so many colors and i just i don't know if you like really matte then get rare beauty but you can easily make the elf matte like just powder on top let's do powder so i've got two powders here I've got the one size in translucent jordana t-shirt and marshmallow i want to try both one size is so known for blaring i've tried the jordana t-shirt before so i know it's so good but i haven't tried that shade because i do find that oh, jordana t-shirt runs very yellow normally however this marshmallow shade is more of like a peachy why is this so hard to get off i got the mini size of both this is the mini jordana and the mini one size so just gonna pop some of the one size in here i only really powder my under eyes i know everyone hates that but it's fine the jordana t-shirt though it does come with a press in the top and then the loose in the bottom which i think would look cute with the blush 
Oh, it's more dark than I thought. Again, Jordana t-shirt. Why is your powder so yellowy? One size and Jordana t-shirt. So, let's just check the concealers actually. Both have creased. That's fine. I don't mind that. I understand that humans have eye creases, so everything's going to crease. It's fine. Right, one size. On a little powder puff. On the back of here. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is really lovely. That has mattified, which, you know, I prefer not to be matte, but that is mattified. That has really, like, I can still see my pores. Don't get me wrong. No powder's going to get rid of them. But that just looks really nice. That is really, really nice. Yeah. Love that. Okay, Patrick. That is really really nice yeah that sets beautifully that is not drying does it feel tight it feels like it's not bare i'm so super impressed with that if that jordana t-shirt one isn't better it's gonna come coachella with me because that is so small and diddy and that's what i need for like traveling i'll have to take a picture of myself and see how it looks but see the hype hasn't changed the color of my concealer at all right, time for jordana t-shirt wow that looks really pink oh god I'm scared don't mess this up i'm just pressing it in like i'm not properly looking at it until me and you digress i'm just like putting the product there right yeah blurred so so good like jordana t pa powder is amazing all her makeup products are amazing it's added i would say more more of a blur than the patrick one but i already know that jordana t powder is literal witchcraft but i'm just not a pink powder girl so I think if you like that, then sure. It's not overly pink. Don't get me wrong at all. I wouldn't say this is like the pink under eye trend at all, but there is definitely some pink vibes going on. But I think it could be like a cute little Kylie Jenner moment. Let's go in with bronzer. I've got the hourglass here. This is the ambient lighting bronzer and diffused bronze light. Doesn't seem to be showing up much. Just gonna stamp that all over here really oh no it is it is there but because it is like a glowy bronzer it doesn't look like it's doing much but i can see it no that's cute i like that yeah 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 i can see it now it does take a minute just to kind of like get there but i don't mind building i wouldn't run out and get it but if you really wanted to try it sure you know it's never a China video if my camera doesn't die. So we've just been on charge. We are now back. The camera is probably all over the place now. I literally didn't finish any of my makeup. I was still doing my nose contour when I left you guys. Blush. So I got the Too Faced blusher. Um, am I going to put this on both cheeks? Here I am. I love the look of this. This is definitely more like pinky compared to what I normally use. But it's fine. I am so excited to try this product. I don't think I've tried a whole lot that is so pigmented. Tap that off. A whole lot from Too Faced because I explained in my little. Hmm. That has kind of like a coconutty smell. Like a sweet smell. I was explaining in my video recently of my haul that. I haven't really tried much Too Faced because I could never afford it when I was younger because obviously I was a little girl and my dad wasn't the richest man on the world so he couldn't just buy me all the stuff 
that I'd always wanted. But that's absolutely fine because I can do that myself. That is cute actually. It's not as bright as it looks, I think. Yeah, no. I don't think that's as bright as it looks at all. But that is really nice soft pink colour. It didn't go on patchy. It sat well on top of all my products. I like that a lot. So I've got two highlighters. I've got, again, a Too Faced and the Refi. I think because this side's more matte, I'm going to use this highlighter and then this on this side. Just because I'm worried it might pick it up. So let's start off with this. I don't really use highlighter. Like powder. I use like a... What's it called? I can't remember what I was saying. But this is the Moon Crush highlighter. I like more of like a wet look. So I hope this does give wet look vibes. Hmm. I've definitely had better. I also think that's taken away the colour of the blush a bit. Which is a shame because... I like the colour of that blush. I'm not impressed with this. No. I wouldn't use that again. I mean, I'll use it because I have it. But I won't use this, like, often. Let's try the Refi. So, the way I like to do this is get my little sponge again and dip it onto here. So, this is in Topaz. I believe they have one colour. That's more of a bronzy colour because my Vive is more, um, light gold. So, that's that on there. I'm just going to... Tap that around. You do want to kind of move it about before you put it on the face. Hmm. Yes, that's cute. Why am I not blown away? Like, it's definitely added a glow, but I wouldn't say... I think I'm quite picky. It's kind of hard to please me. Use this fluffy brush. I'm going to use... I love the look of this palette. Space Cowboy. Wow. A lot's coming off of that. That is exactly what I wanted. Like, I don't want it pigmented. Like, I just want sparkle all over my eye. Yeah, that's coming to Coachella. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Like... Just when I'm in the light, I'm sparkling. So, so fun. I just wanted like a super sheer thing. Then I've got this brow gel from Ico. It's just a clear one. Going to see how this goes. It's a small brush, which is nice. Oh, I'll just flip the other side and it has so much product on it. This doesn't feel gluey. Like, you know, the NYX one it feels like glue. Oh, that smells good. It's definitely liquidy. Oh, God. I'll see how that dries, but that product is so wet. Um, my eyebrows feel so wet. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, God. I love that eyeshadow. It's so nice. I've never tried Sephora's makeup before, so I've got one of their lip liners. This is their lip stain liner in classic beige. It's a little twisty moment. My camera's dying again because I literally had it on charge. Wow, that's so soft. Had it on charge for not long. That is gliding. Love that colour. Love everything about that. It's really nice. I'd love to see how long it lasts, but it is just a lip liner. Wow. Okay, Sephora. I just can't stop staring at my eyes. It's so glittery. This is the Beauty Crop Peptide Calm in Lychee. Oh, that smells unbelievable. Oh, it's got a tint. Uh-oh, too much. I like the applicator of this. It's like a metal. It smells sensational. It has a pinky tint, as you can see. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Peptides, Jehovah oil, and vitamin E. I can really smell that. It's really strong. It's quite nice. Need my brow powder. Just gonna quickly fill in my brows and then I think we're just gonna set and spray and then we're done and then we're gonna just talk about our product. Okay, makeup is all done. We're just gonna go in with a bit of the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. Just gonna put my little goggles on just in case.
No. No. Mm -mm. No. <sighs> First of all, I barely sprayed any of that. Hate the smell. Feels like hairspray. Never want that on my face ever again the eyebrow gel has dried and i really like it it's held so well when it's wet it's wet but then once it's dried it is dried i loved the lip peptide this so good the elf blushes amazing i loved both of these concealers as well as the sticks i don't know where they are but the sticks i used at first the color correctors they worked amazingly the foundation wherever the foundation is like that the one size powder this has been great to be honest i'm so so happy with this let me know if you'd like me to test any other makeup and other than that see you in my next video